Here we go, welcome to EWE Underground Tour. We're going to be deciding the next competitor, well, the next um, participant in hardcore games for the Underranked team. And, well, that match is coming up now, actually, so enjoy. Who is it? Oh, the EWE Underranked champion. Uh, won it, like, last episode? Yeah, last episode. Coming to the ring to, well, have a talk, I guess. Probably for the upcoming upcoming hardcore games, Ryan Young, what an athlete he is. No, it wasn't last episode, it was on the return of Underranked. And he's very cheerful here tonight for all the fans in attendance. And he's ready to say some words. Hello everyone, how is everyone doing tonight now? I may look like a brute in the ring, which I am, but I, I, I like my fans. I like all of you in attendance tonight. I like how dedicated you are to this company. And I'm going to give something that you guys want. I'm going to give you an early match, not a pay-per-view, but I'm going to be doing an open challenge at the end of tonight to show really how much of a dominant champion, champion I will be in the future. I cannot stand people who hold the title and don't defend it. It just grinds my gears because you don't even get to be called a champion. And together, as me and you, me and you fans, we are unstoppable. Don't worry. I will, I'm going to retain my championship at the end of tonight. And if I have to, I'll defend it at Hardcore Games. A nice little saying from Ryan Young, he will be defending his championship later tonight on an open challenge. He wants all, all the fans supporting him, and he loves it. Alright, here we go. This is to get into the underranked team. Uh, for hardcore games. Under the wing of Sub-Zero, the current leader. Here's a new person I don't think we've seen before. Yeah, no, we haven't. AJ Fox, I think his name is. Is that right? Yep, okay. We haven't seen him before, but oh, we definitely have seen this man, Adam Anderson. And he's running down to the ring with a chair. This is a normal match. You've got to get yourself to school for before the match even starts, Adam. Oh, God! Oh, oh God! AJ Fox can be so badly hurt right now. What? Adam Anderson could have just injured this newbie. I know, he's not going to get him to self-disqualified. It's a uh, thingy match. Falls count anywhere match. I forgot about that. But oh my god! Adam Anderson coming out of the gate with a chair shot from off the turnbuckle where he was taunting so he didn't see it coming into a one-legged Boston Crab. AJ Fox could be so hurt, I swear he hit his head on the apron. He's like, snapping his neck back into place or something. Now into the ring post, Adam Anderson goes, you can hear the little pop, AJ Fox is filled with rage. Heard that he is a, t he is a submission specialist. One of the best around. Oh, big elbow! Can't really land his elbow shot, so it looks like. Oh, that might be to do with maybe the broken skull. And now strikes from Adam Anderson, turning AJ Fox inside out. And now again, into a snapmare. And now more strikes. Here we go, no backflip into a big discus forearm. And now, AJ Fox, AJ Fox into the cover, looking to get one over, looking to knock uh, Adam Anderson out, kick out. At two, I think that was. Now Adam Anderson, explode a suplex, oh my god. The back of AJ Fox has to be killing him right now. And now into the ring, Adam Anderson goes. AJ Fox. Got sneak attack and another exploder suplex. Hit his head on the apron. The hardest part of the ring. And fell down. And I would chop Adam Anderson 
keeping this match slow in his, in his possession. And now looking for another Exploder Super. He's really destroying the back of AJ Fox. The fact that he had to get a sneak attack on the on a newbie is a bit funny to me, but still. I mean, I guess it's a smart tactic. It is full count, so full count anywhere. Wait a minute, it's the Norman Drop signature move. And now he's waiting for it. He's stalking the prey, which is AJ Fox. Oh, mass destruction. Copying Sub-Zero. One. Two. And AJ Fox gets the shoulders up. I can't believe it. Oh, we know solves the mass destruction. That's sick. He just no sold it. And now he's back in action. And what is he doing? Thrown away. Oh, look at the athleticism. Like I said, he is a submission specialist. And he's got that athleticism in his heart. And the fire. That is needed. To destroy your opponents. And now, he's looking for like this MMA style ground and pound. Oh, that's not a thing that a lot of people could do. They could just instantly transmit it into an armbar. And it looks like it's really hurting Adam Anderson. Adam, he didn't expect that. Now Adam Anderson. Adam Anderson catching up the suspicious submission specialist. Looking at him wiggle. Two-legged inverted Boston Crab. And now... Oh. AJ Fox gets out of it. Big punch to the skull. Now taking the arm. And the stomp. Wait, Anaconda Vice? Yep! No, it's, I think this is a Batista bite. And Adam Anderson, nowhere to go. Tough submission to get out of. Oh, he is though. Elbows to the arm. And now elbows to the head. Adam Anderson didn't expect this. Big clothesline and all. Oh, where's he going? Adam Anderson, he's running. He's running off. He's run off to that tower. The tower of greatness, as we call it. And he thinks he's safe over there. And he's mocking the fans. The tower of greatness where um, Chad Webster and Red Arrow... Or was it Neon? It was, one of, it was Chad Webster, Neon, or Chad Webster versus um, Red Arrow. I think it, yeah, no, it was Chad Webster versus Neon, where they had their explosive match, and it ended off around there. That's why it's called the Tower of Greatness. And it is a beautiful sight to see, only found in this arena. Oh, and look at AJ Fox, he can't really get the arms because he's in the guard, but... Still bringing it. Wait a minute. Tequila Sunrise, maybe. Maybe look at all. Oh, wait, no. Ben did the fingers back. He's about to snap the fingers off of Adam Anderson. If he can transmission this into an armbar, that might be game over. No, but Adam Anderson once again get, gets out of it. Tornado Neckbreaker reversed by AJ Fox into a neckbreaker. Maybe it wasn't smart for Adam Anderson to fight here over here. And now lift it up. Signature move. Bang. Just drops him on the knee. And now. AJ Fox just turning Adam Anderson inside out. Knee to the back. It's kind of what he deserves really. Now bring him down again. And now look at this. Maybe looking at the transmission into an armbar once again. Nope. That would have been the smartest thing to do. And now, what is this? Trying to grab the arms. And now, stretching him up. Oh, that must hurt. All of your limbs are just being levitating into the air, basically. Wait, a dragon sleeper. Romero dragon sleeper. One of my favourite submissions. Will Adam Anderson tap? This is AJ Fox's finishing move. Adam Anderson's tapping out. AJ Fox is going to hardcore games. This was his debut as well. Whoa. Adam, Anderson's, Adam Anderson just couldn't continue. 
despite getting a sneak attack and everything. Adam Anderson loses to AJ Fox. And well done, AJ Fox. You have really deserved that. Oh, the former underranked champion ready to make a speed. Our matches are underranked. And last time, we was in e we, we haven't even been in a single pay-per-view as an underranked community. A lot of people like uh, underranked because, well, it's talent you've never seen before growing and growing. Yet, we're still not allowed in any pay-per-view. And this is the first pay-per-view you will ever see underranked performers versus normal main roster performers. But you know what, there isn't, there isn't a singles match against the main roster performer. Which is stopping our talent and all that. So you know what, I'm calling out this shit for Brains Inferno. Because he's, he's been showing up and then going again. So if you weren't a pussy Inferno, like you are, then you'd come out here and talk to me, wouldn't you? I've seen what you've been doing with Tyler. What you did with Tyler. No way are we going to see Inferno in underranked. I mean, Inferno's been gone for quite some time. So no way are we going to see him hit... Ah! Oh. Okay, he's back! Inferno has returned! Inferno's been gone for... months. Ever since his battle with Mark Andrews. And... He's been gone, hasn't been in EWE, but he's back in underranked. He isn't on the roster of underranked, no. And he grabs the mic, he's saying it's good to be back. Looks like he's mocking Red Arrow. What's he have to say? Okay, look what we got here. Some underranked little wannabes won one championship and think that they're the big guns. What do I have that you don't? Huh? Why do I need to fight you? What do I need to prove? You can prove that you're not a pussy. A lot of people think you're a pussy for what you've been doing against Tyler, getting people, putting a bounty on him and everything, and you couldn't even beat him yourself. And I could probably get closer to beating him than you could, but fortunately he isn't here. And I'm, you know, I want to shine, and I want to beat you at a hardcore games. You're, you're not answering my question. What do I get for beating you, huh? Yeah, okay, my stats goes up a little bit, but it's not like I get put back in a title picture. It's just, well, it's just for your sake. I knock you down. Well, once again, you can prove you're not a pussy. I know you don't really care about the fans and everything, even the ones who support you. But, I mean, I can beat you easily. Just like I said, that I could do to Tyler. I could probably beat him. He'd be harder to beat than you would, if I'm honest with you. You're not giving me an answer. I want an answer, but, I mean, if I had to beat the answer out of you, I will. But, you know what? That sounds fun. I'll re-debut at Hardcore Games, and I'll beat your ass in like five minutes. Five minute match it is then. Me and you, five minutes in the ring, and trust me, you'll be done quicker than Tyler got rid of you. Screw that, let's have a five minute Iron Man match then, or a 15 minutes, up to you, because you're the newbie. But come on, you ain't got no balls, and I know I can beat you. And Inferno exits the ring, the mic goes flying. We're seeing these two at under rank. And here we go, a normal match. We're going to see another debut tonight. The leader of the underranked Hardcore Games team. Versus this new debutant. Here he comes. Joe Reaper, the shooting star. And he, he's ready to face Sub-Zero here tonight. Can he have what it takes to beat the leader of the Hardcore Games team for underranked? Possibly. Joe Reaper, very good. In, well... Not quite sure, actually. Anyway, Sub-Zero, we don't know what he's really... No, not Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero, he's a professional at um, kickboxing and stuff, but Joe Reaper, we don't really know a lot about him. We know he's actually, like, 
he, he could be a really good star one day. We've seen him, how he found Joe Reaper. We saw him in an indie show. He's not like the hardcore flies, a high flying type, but he is so impressive. Let me tell you that when he's in his element, when he understands his opponent, he can be so great. Honestly, Sub Zero. Oh my God, big kick! Sub Zero, very good at kickboxing skills and stuff. Explains why he uses his kicks so much. He's really good with that kind of stuff. Like, really good. It can wear you down in just a few seconds. Joe Reaper looking to have a spear into the turnbuckle. It's like going back into the corner over and over again. And there's a kick. Kick to the inner knees by Sub-Zero. And now, oh, stomping on the shoulder of Joe Reaper. Putting his middle fingers up. Disrespecting. Joe Reaper. Oh, super kick. And now, Florida's keys. He's saying it's game over. Quite an equally based match so far. Forearm by Joe Reaper. Like I said, he's not really the high flying type. Oh, as soon as he gets back in the ring, caught on a pele. I'm the Sub-Zero confused, what's going on? There's a big W that just appeared on the screen. And Sub-Zero confused. Saying the referee should go check that out. Hold on for a sec, <gasps> that's the... No! Ground Zero, what the fuck? What? That, what is Frank doing here? Well, he just hit a Ground Zero. He is the leader of the main roster of oh, hardcore games. But what the hell happened there? Right, we're getting into the World Championship match, but what the fuck? And this is the open challenge, the hell in the cells there. I'm guessing Ryan Young chose it. Who's going to be the person to face Ryan Young for the EWA Underranked Championship? DB. Not the best career for DB and EWE. Going to start freshly in underranked with well, a big title run. Well, title run. Title shot, shall I say. Title run if he wins. Undoubtedly going to be one of the best underranked champions that we see. But anyway, Ryan Young, the second ever EWE underranked champion without a championship entrance, even though I gave him one. He's about to lift that in the center of the ring. How he won this was in the center of the Hell in the Cell one uh, against who was it? He pinned uh, Gabriel Haas. That was it. The man who not cannot be hurt. I think or he pinned Red Arrow. Was, I th no, I think he made Gabriel Haas tap out. So he didn't actually pin the former tr uh, champion, but he's still the champion nevertheless. It was a triple threat, and he dominated everyone. See, this is the thing with Ryan Young. He's not. He's, like he said, he's not always, no, he's always respecting the fans, he's always with the fans, he loves his fans, but when he's in the ring, he's always focused, he doesn't want to show off too early or too late, and, well, you can see the intensity in his eyes right there, seeing Dibu, a man, DB, the man of his size, it's not someone to be mocking and taunting around with, and now, he, this is what I mean, look, straight off the bat, and, uh, Ryan is just trying to dominate DB. Gonna try and lift him up. How has he done that? Into an armbar. DB into an armbar. Oh no, DB's trying to twist around. Ryan Young now. Trying to get the arm. And I'm just snapping at the fingers. This is smart. Look at the technician work from Ryan Young. DB was getting out of the armbar. He switches it up and just goes to the other hand. These uppercuts, I'm not sh quite sure what they're... Oh, gouging at the face of DB! Pushing him down. DB just getting manhandled, oh my god! Stomped to the back of the skull. DB trying to get up. Oh, you can hear them. You can hear that boot connect. Twice. Ryan Young getting out of the ring. 
I say this all the time, but this is a good way to deal with big people like DB. I mean, look at his size. So the good way is to like chop down the tree. You target the legs and the legs alone, and then you hit your big moves when, well, he's stunned. Because if you can't hit the running power slam, you could be safe. You're 99% going to win the match, although DB is very athletic as well, so that will take out the other half of his moveset. He can only use brute force. Oh, that on the, to the chair as well. So you've got a good success rate of beating this man. Ryan Young, I don't think he has been beaten before. No, he hasn't. He hasn't been beaten before, so... You don't, you don't really know the tactics, just don't let him get in control of you, really. And DB, what is this? Oh my god! Crushing Ryan Young's face between the chair. And that took a little bit out of DB as well. He hit heavy, and he hit hard, into the cover on the underrank champion. New underrank champion possibly, no Ryan Young gets the shoulders up. Impressive match from both men so far. Both really showing what they're made of. DB using the chair as the advantage over Ryan Young. And now lifted up. Signature move, F5, no reverse. Inverted DDT, smart reversal by Ryan Young. And now DB lifted up. Side slam. Signature move. Could that be it for DB? One. Two, the kick out. A side slam, the signature move of Ryan Young. Fans are cheering all around just for Ryan and for DB. They're liking what they're seeing here in the main event. It's only been four minutes. Oh, what a punch. Fans on both sides, it's 50-50. A lot of fans want to see DB succeed and a lot of fans want to see what Ryan Young can do. So, oh my God, into the back of the cell. Now out goes Ryan Young, trying to get the advantage. Oh God, into the cell. Oh, face forward as well. DB not in the best position here. No, German suplex through the cell. Ryan Young decimating this man. Now I'm inviting him to a climb of the cage. This is how far you're willing to go. This is a test of how far you're willing to go. Is DB going to climb with Ryan? He sees Ryan. He's gone back in to the cell. Ryan's up there. Sorry that it's really hard to see. We keep on having this issue. If anything big happens, we'll try and get a replay. Ryan's celebrating up there. He's not coming down. Oh no, DB. DB set a table up in the middle. Oh no, he's taking it back down. And now he's setting it back up. Ryan waiting for him. He doesn't care what he's doing. Wait, DB set the table up. Again. I guess he wanted it in that position then. Smart move. Put him through the um, cell. And jump up on the turnbuckle. And jump on him. Oh god, sorry, you might not be able to see what's going on. You may only see the people's feet. But we'll get a replay if anything big happens. Cameras are over, yeah. Right, unless we're going to go through that thing. I think DB just climbed the cell. Ryan Young taunting. Oh, big strike by DB. No. Slams the foot down on the steel, Jesus. That's got to be the most painful thing you can feel in this match. Your foot being slammed completely onto steel. Oh God, what did he just do? Here's what DB did. Pop up cutter right onto the cell panel. And as you can see, it cracked a little bit in the corner. So you've got an action replay of what happened just then. We cannot see a fucking thing. What is going on? Ryan Young's getting up now. This is so weird. Oh, God! 
What happened? Oh, Brain Buster! And Dean put himself through! We really need to get rid of that panel, honestly. The, the, no, not the panel, the little fucking thing that's bordering from... Oh, oh, what's happening with Ryan Young? Ryan Young's in the cell. Um, his arms are stuck. Ryan. Is he okay? Stevie's climbing up there. Ryan Young's arms are stuck. Hitting him. Where's he gone? Oh, he's ascended! No, he's descended down to... Oh my god, okay. Just 2k20, isn't it? Oh, DB. He tripped. Can't believe Ryan Young just survived a brain buster basically through the cell and then got trapped. You can see DB's head a little bit at the top there as Ryan Young begins to climb. Hopefully it stays like that so we can see him. No, okay. It's like a massive sensor bar. Okay, now we literally can't see what's going on. What just happened? I am so sorry about this, by the way. What? What is going on anymore? Oh! What, Ryan? Ryan Young, what happened? I don't think we're allowed to see it. No, the replay won't show up. Ryan? What happened? What's going on with Ryan Young? Is he... He's up there. Oh, he's back down. Did nothing happen? I thought something happened to Ryan. He's trying to punch DB, the table in their way. Oh, Ryan running through the table. He's had enough of this on top of the cell crap. And now leaping clothesline. God, I am so sorry that we wasn't able to capture anything up there. A lot of things happened. There's the side slam again, the signature move. One, two, and that is not enough to wait. Uh, and that is not enough to take down Dean Bloodlust. And Ryan, whoa, that's what I'm talking about, the athleticism of DB coming into play. He's been thrown low, and a big knee, oh my, what a knee. He's recently been fighting, he recently fought for the Hardcore Championship last pay-per-view at defense, but didn't get to win it, lifted up Ryan Young for something. Big elbow again. Once again, on the shoulders is DB and another side slam by Ryan Young. Into the cover, one, two, and yet another kick out. Ryan Young is shot. That's been three of them. And now the table lifted up. The table's been placed. But why? I think we all know why. The fans in the live arena are loving this. Considering they actually got to see what happened on the cell and we didn't. And now, oh no. DB does, oh no. This is bad, especially with DB, the height of him. Ryan's going to be lifted up so much. Superplex through the table. We might see a new under rank champion. And DB notices it, goes for the cover. One, two, and a throw. Oh, no, Ryan Young gets the shoulders up. Not yet do we see a new champion. The DB, he has been pretty controllative in this match. It is quite good for DB. He can take this much control. Take this much punishment as well and still... Be in this match, a big stomp to the arm. I mean, he got German suplex through the cell and he's still fighting on. Not a lot of people do that. 
Oh, wait a minute. Reversal by Ryan Young. Into the cell. DB thrown into the cell again. Big punch. And Ryan Young chucks DB into the ring. Oh, Ryan might be looking for it at the ending. Big punch. Oh, feast your eyes, finishing move. Bap! It's over. It's over. DB's out. One. Two. And a... <gasps> that was 2.9. That was 2.9. Ryan Young can't believe it. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, Kamora! Kamora lock! Oh, no. DB's tapping. The king of the Kamora rocks, Ryan Young. Kamora lock really should be his finishing move, if you ask me. He uses it so much. And it's so effective when he does. Anyway, fit you like that was at four side slams, a feast drives, and a Kamora lock. And also a German suplex through the cell will DB. DB really looks strong. I think we can see DB as a future um, underranked champion. But that day is not today. Ryan Young, still your underranked champion. Thank you guys for watching this episode of EWE Underranked. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Or if you didn't, make sure to leave a dislike. Well, I don't really care. I mean, it's your choice. Uh, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. And peace.